I don't want to be hearing a damn word about this alligator after this one. Do I make myself clear? Not a damn thing. We're going to play Smiles one more time because someone, someone, very recently in the comments, at least at the time of this recording, I, like, this would be episode, uh, 259. Someone in the comment section of 259 was like, uh, play Gator Man. I'm like, I played Gator Man in the episode previous to this one, or did you not watch? Point is, we're playing Gator Man again because, you know what, people apparently want more of this. Sure, why not? Have some Gator Dude. Uh, hopefully we can actually make this work, though. That'd be ideal. Um, where do I start? Gator Man is fine if, according to some people, maybe even a bit OP still. And I'm in a disagreement with them at the moment. I'm not totally sure he's OP, but he's got some things that still needs a little bit of tweaking. Like, I'm looking very specifically at um, the fact that his flipping chain does not get affected by BKM at all. Whereas every single other form of CC in the world has. So, you know, that's the thing. Here, hold on. I also need to change the audio settings a little bit. Cause it's a little bit quiet right now. There we go. There we go. 12% should be fine, right? This is this is totally fine. Their nibs is... One is half decent. Uh, well, okay. That's that's good for them. Um, let's go with the usual. I'm going to go for Bush Telly because I like Bush Telly. I think that if you land the grapple, you deserve to have the full length, uh, full feature length film here. Not to be confused with like a Disney length film, which is in ideal. Let's, uh, let's leave it at that, okay? I really did try to get off the grapple there. And that would have been good to have the magnetic... Uh, version of said thing But uh, um, yeah, anyway, we're not gonna deal with that right now. Hold on. I, I'm like mind flooded right now because that's just what smiles does to people Mind floods people and it sucks. Uh, we are gonna sit down here We're gonna go ahead and get some uh, some work done as much as we can on this droid way though dying in the process That missed, huh? The tail whip missed. I disagree, but like, okay, that's fine. So Gator Man is totally fine. I think the Gator Man has a lot going for him. I think the Gator Man still has a couple of things that are a little potent, but um, you know, he's he's manageable. You know, he's 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 got the possibility of being dealt with depending on the situation that you're in. And honestly, that's not the situation I find myself in right now. I find myself in a situation right now where I'm feeling pretty good about everything that we're walking into for the most part. Just watch it. Boink! Hey, get roasted a little. Just a little bit, though, because I don't want to get... Stop it with the lasers, though. Um, oh, my God. There's so much fire all over the place. We've got fire. They've got fire. It's like a good old-fashioned cookout over here. We're looking for gator meat. We're looking for salty uh, salty camera meat. Like, it's the whole kit and caboodle. All right. I'm, I'm feeling a little hurt. I'm going to go ahead and roast this up get some HP. Quickly, look at that. Look at that. HP, buddy. It's the HP steak. No one's there, huh? Get back off. You see this max, maybe? No. I want to tail whip that guy, but there's no safe way of doing so without like taking a decent amount of damage. It's worth mentioning right now that we're in a situation where we could desperately use a little bit of a kill. Like, you know, a little bit of work done. And I'm playing very passive for the character that I'm playing as. And you know what? That's just me. That's my playstyle. I like to play passive at the beginning, judge and guess where my enemies are. And eventually, hopefully pounce on one of their mistakes, which they do exist. Enemies make mistakes on occasion. It's not every time, but it's every once in a while for sure. There we go, just like that. Get out of here, shoot. Uh, and then just like play it relatively passively as a result of that. But you know, you can't do that all the time. There are just some games where that's not physically possible. I'm a little worried. There's no one in there. Not being able to see what's in there, by the way, gets you killed a lot of the time. So, like, be sure to try for that more often than not. Uh, we are in a situation right now where I want to get, like, more damage and some more stuff. But, like, we need to continue to get farms and kills and stuff. Yeah! Look at that! Oh my god, what have you done, Nibs? That was the easiest double kill I've seen in my life. I'll take it. That's fine. Uh, in the meantime, Lone Star's upstairs. Screw it. Let's just sit over here. Put some fire. Roast them a little bit and then back off. See, we weren't going to die. We were in a weird spot. He couldn't push us right up against the turret. Which means they can't deal uh, direct damage using the turret to us. Okay. They are all back now, so we need to be very careful about that. Maybe go elsewhere. Maybe try getting... Boink! 
get stuck. That was a good tail whip, if I might say so myself. But now that we've got an advantage, we need to continue to push it. Or at least maintain it, because if our Raylan went home... If Ray Ray's gone home, then, you know, we have to, like, just continue to do this for a minute. Boink, that's all dead. Hello, you stinky security camera. Get out of here. Okay, roast this stuff. Get the HP, call it a day. Um, I'm gonna head home. Like, at this point, we're doing really well. I think it's worth our time. We're gonna get the electromagnetic winch. Electric magnetic winch? It's not electromagnetic. If it was electromagnetic, that would be sweet. But, you know, we're going to go with old-fashioned technology here. Uh, and then we're going to go for probably the best burst damage I can think of on this guy, which happens to be, like, Pocket Dog, honestly. Um, Pocket Dog actually helps in the sense that if you manage to winch somebody and you just click them once, you deal, like, 100 and something damage uh, over time. Which is not, like, a ton of damage over time. I'm just going to make that completely obvious at this point. There we go. Get out of here. But at least it's something, you know? Like, it... it one of Smiles' greatest weaknesses is his inability to chase. If you can do all your damage in less than a second, it's glorious. Boink! Just like that. Just like that. Okay, good stuff. Now, while my team and their team are both complaining about lag, I'm just gonna... Well, we're gonna get, like, slammed a little here, which sucks. Hopefully we don't die. I'm a little annoyed that we didn't get the nibs, but that's fine. Let's head on back. So there are a couple of different upgrades we could be picking up to help with this uh, sustainability issue. But honestly, like, Smiles can't afford to go sustain early. I'm beginning to come to the conclusion that if Smiles goes sustain early, he ends up having a very bad day. You need to go heavy on, like, damage and on being as useful as possible in the early game. If you don't have that utility early game, you're not going to get to that late game, you know what I mean? So this is kind of like damage over time early build means that we can land 200 damage. Not free of charge, but, you know, pretty much free of charge right at the beginning. Oh, that almost landed. Land out one of those. Maybe it hits, maybe it doesn't. Every four seconds, we can try again. Boink! Get out of here. Burn, chicklets, burn! That's right! Now, it's worth mentioning, this skin, as far as I'm concerned, is the better of the two skins. Like, the base skin is sweet. Uh, at least for my own personal preference. I, I'm a big fan of this one compared to the other one. But that's just because I don't like how the other one sounds. Lag more, please, Ray. Hey, Nibs, uh, bitch more, please. It's a great time. Wow. Wow. Look at this. Look at me frying this place. Then just backing off. He might think I'm still in there. He is wrong. Boink! <sighs> I tried twice. I missed twice. But don't worry. I got nail another tail whip in like a second. That's some fire, buddy. <sighs> Almost got the toasty on that one, but unfortunately, no dice. Okay. Okay, we dealt as much damage as we could, honestly, within a short time span. That's fine for now. Okay. Unfortunately, no kill there. It's gonna it's gonna happen on occasion that we don't get the kills that we want, but honestly, we want to be getting a lot more kills more often. Uh oh, drag him down. Drag him down to Paradise City. Nice stuff. Okay, decent damage. But we're still looking for more damage, or at least another easier way to deal the damage. Because as it stands right now, it's a little, uh, it's a little on the weak side in terms of my HP. So, roast him. At the very least, if you die, you're you're bringing him with you. Okay, could be worse. Um, things that would help. I would think that getting Snapper Trap would help a lot because it's effectively a ranged bite now that we have. So, that's pretty sweet. We'll grab that. Good kills by my team. Thank you very much. We even got a turret, so our solar is right back up there. It means that we can pick up some damage upgrades, and uh, I'm thinking that might be a good plan. Now, on top of getting more damage upgrades, it might... Don't quote me on this. Might be a good idea to get the range increase. Let's give it a try, see what happens. Um, and I'm thinking range increase would be really hot here, just because then that way we can like torch people from super far away, or at least farther away than we're used to, and that's, that's important for a character like Smiles, you know? Being able to get that distance. Like, look at this. I can roast from back here now. I actually feel like a ranged character again. Uh, we're going to want to go upstairs quickly. To help with uh, any downsides that might be uh, coming to coming to town. Roast this. Now back off. You see the bad guy? The bad guy wants to eat your face. You tail whipped him. Roasted. This is easy to do and it does wonders. Okay, back off, y'all. You, you back off. You understand... Okay, there's people that are trying to do nasty things to my team downstairs, and I'm just not going to care for right now. Don't worry about it. Now I'm going to start caring. That missed. That was on course. 
That was on a collision course, Star Trek style, for getting in some seriously wicked kills. Didn't happen, little upset. Little upset, foosh, there we go, that's now dealt with. Go elsewhere, watch this. Surprise! You thought that you were getting away. Uh, we're just gonna deal with this top so that way they don't uh, get the kills that they want. There we go, it's fine by me. Uh, where's this Lone Star trying to go? Oh, got him! What up? Okay, so we got a really good grapple there that felt good. They managed to get us a little bit of HP as well, so we're feeling a little bit healthier than we probably should. Get the tail whip off here and just roast it. Missed that entirely, but you know what? That's that's like par for the course for me, right? Just miss the skill shot. That's how you win this video game, is lulling them into a false sense of security with the skill shot missing, and then uh, grab them when they're, grab them when they're uh, cocky and arrogant, you know? Get them to make mistakes, so that way you don't have to uh, play well in the first place. It's the easiest strategy on the planet. Works every time. I promise you it's because I'm good. It's not because I'm, I'm bad, I swear. Um, okay, back off. Roast them and toast them. It's fine. We got a little, yeah, we got both of the solar coins for that one, so that feels good. Like, we, we are trying to get these ambushes, but it's a little, it's a little difficult to aim when they're playing as safe as they are, which is fine. That's the way that they should be playing. Like, they're smart players. That's fine. Get in the turret for like two seconds, or don't. Oh, that was unfortunate. Okay, we roasted that droid wave. It is now done. Toasted. Roasted and smacked. There we go. So we're 10 minutes into this and we're feeling a lot better than the last time we played. Where we were up against like some pretty tough customers if I'm being honest with you. Okay, Max, you're gonna like wanna run. Yeah, yeah, there you go, buddy. Gotcha. Oh, don't die in the process. What? <laughs> Tricked ya. Psych! <laughs> Um, okay, Unicorn Butt, let's not, let's not be stingy, grab Unicorn Butt right away. So Unicorn Butt's really, really good, I think that's actually better than getting damage, um, in a lot of cases, just because the extra bit of stun means that you can do, uh, a bit of work on somebody like Max, who, uh, relies on being able to, you know, be next to his opponents to do anything, and if you can manage to, like, stun him out of it, like, sign me up effectively, boink, have some roasting, enjoy it, roast it, a little, just a tiny bit. Leave off, though. I don't want any of your crap. They're gonna take top. That's fine. Understandably, that's... Okay, roasted him a little bit. Which means he's low. Okay, a little bit of roasting over there as well. That's okay. But we gotta, like, help clear that lane a little. There we go. Lane's been cleared. Now, what's the plan? Well, we're looking for an opportunistic kill on somebody. Like on, uh, Maxi Boy here. Ah, oh, it's gonna miss. That sucks. That's fine, Nibs. I don't mind. It's okay. Oh, we're likely to die here unless we can get this one. Ah, just in time. Literally just. Um, we're going to stay really far back here. Okay, now I'm going to head home. It is not smart to stick around like this. Um, regen's good plan. Uh, like That would actually save us in a lot of situations here. So we're going to start grabbing regen now that we've got uh, some damage to back us up. And, you know, other abilities and such to keep us alive and running. I realize I'm leaving a lot of solar on the ground, by the way, and that happens. Like, you're just, you're gonna have to get used to the fact that that exists. There's no one in there, okay. Uh, and that's largely because, like, sometimes the speed is more important than the solar. Like, solar and time are two resources in this game. You wanna have running the way you want, like, properly. Roasted, maybe? Yeah! We did it! But, um, you need to balance them out, you know? Sometimes it's important to collect the solar, other times it's better to be, like, a... 0.5 of a second closer to your end goal. And if you can manage to make the two marry and meet, absolutely go for it. You know, like last hitting and using abilities on droid waves is a perfect example of that. Um, where you want, where you're saving time and you're getting solar for it. Oh, that missed. That feels bad. Um, and that's like our main goal is trying to get the two to, to marry whenever possible. Oh, that's going to hurt and suck. Honestly, we're probably going to die off of that. But uh, that level up might have just kept us alive a little longer. Nope, we're going to die. We're going to die. It's fine. Smile OP. Uh, he'd be more OP if I didn't suck. Now, with that mentioned, um, let's go ahead and grab the second ranking barbecue sauce. Boom, look at that damage. What a time to be alive. How are we doing? 5, 2, and 7 ain't bad. 
I want to just make that abundantly clear. That's not bad. Flicker Penguin's carrying our butt. Like, absolutely carrying our butt from here all the way to the end goal right now. Because he's got, like, a lot of kills, first off. But he's also clearing a lot. He's got 66 droid kills. We don't, we're nowhere near that. Um, and despite the fact that he went maybe a little in over his head there, he's doing great. Flicker Penguin, you know, good job, buddy. Using that uh, broken Magic the Gathering mechanic to a uh, greater advantage than po the, you know you thought possible. I really want to get aggressive here, but I know it's a small, small time move. Like, that's how you lose. Is by going super aggro when you're down a man. Max, your build sucks. Let's look at his build. Yours isn't perfect either, bucko. Um... Yeah, this ought to be interesting. Roast this. Look at that, look at that, look at that. You know what, let's, let's talk about that, let's talk about that. Here's what I meant to say. Um, that's the intro to Good Mythical Morning, by the way, so if you're wondering why I said that. Uh, attack speed, damage, and damage is what he was going for. He went for Kraken, like, last. I, I disagree with that build, personally. There we go. Just get that double kill for Flicker Penguin. Let's go. Zero damage late game is one thing. Boink! We can practically do that on demand too, which is great. Boink! Roasted. Well, look at that. We did it. We won. Everybody complained about lag. Everyone complained about max builds. Our max's build is... Fine. It does DPS from range. It's not perfect, I don't think, but it's it's gonna do the, the trick in the right situation. Jeez. These guys are so salty. I don't understand. I don't understand. Anyway, we did fine. There's your smiles game again. Hope you enjoyed it this time. Six, two, and nine. We didn't do bad. Our experience given was not ideal. Uh, obviously, Flicker Penguin did a lot of good work with those, uh, with killing, with getting a lot of those kills. But let's look at kill participation here. We got, uh, let's see, 6, 13, 18 of them. We participated in 15 of those kills. So only three kills we weren't a part of. That's not bad. In fact, we participated in more kills than Flicker Penguin did. Yay! <laughs> in short, we made shit happen, which is good. Um,. But honestly, I think that Bush Telly and Mag Electric Magnetic Winch are probably the two most important upgrades. And if you're going for, like, a, like if you're not super good with the guy, uh, I recommend Pocket Dog. Because then that way you can just, like, left-click once and you do 200 damage over the next four seconds just for them being around. It's it's not bad. It's not bad. So, yeah, Smiles. I like Croc Guy sometimes, but I feel a little bit burnt out. So if you're wondering why I'm a little bit unthrilled about it, there you have it. Um, and you know what? If either of the Maxes are watching, let's go over your builds. So... A lot of people like duration. I don't personally, but if you like it, you do you. Going straight into these two upgrades immediately after seems a little bit suspicious. Flying camera is great if uh, you're going for attack speed, which you did. So good job. I wonder what your third upgrade would have been. Slow on bubbles, great. Took you a little while to get your damage, but at least you got safe damage, which is nice. Uh, I can't aim that though. Like it's it's good that you went duration and the uh, static mysteries because those two actually synergize well together and at that point the only other damage upgrade you could pick up would have been the um i mean crack would have been okay but it's not ideal because you're effectively making it harder to land because they have more time to prepare to dodge it <laughs> with uh the duration increase so you know what walex not a bad build i can see what you're going for and it seems to be okay although the build order might be a little bit out of whack i'd go for more of the uh bursty stuff first and the camera stuff after uh koki buddy um you're the one calling out the other max here, and I gotta, I gotta ask. Uh, attack speed is not super good uh, on its own without flying camera, because it's almost impossible to keep up with people at that point. It's better to go for galactic police scanner with the stars, with the damage, and the misclicked range increase might have been a mistake. But you know what? Whatever. It's it's, it's fine. It's it's range increase plus galactic police scanner that definitely didn't help you because those two are an anti synergy sort of. Um, yeah. There, I bitched about it. You've had your, your time in the sun, you two, for complaining about it. Good job. Well played. I'm done with talking. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you did, be sure to let me know. Hit the like button down below. I'll see you guys in the next video.